So we are, I'm Mr. Mom today. It's a pretty big deal. Actually, I was only Mr. Mom for half the day. Maggie was at home with the kids for the first half of the day. And then she just uh, left to go, um, uh, go to a class that she's uh, attending. Um, it's, a, it's a first time home buyers class. Um, so we're, I went to one a while ago, um, a couple weeks ago, and it was nice. It was interesting. So I'm here with the kids now. Hi guys. Hi Lucy. I hope she's not sleeping right now. Um, Cause I'd like to get them into bed tonight. Usually nighttime is kind of a dual kind of thing that Maggie and I both take care of where we, uh, we both kind of work to keep them in bed. So um, me against them tonight when they're at their uh, peak craziness, it's gonna be fun. So, yeah. Anyways, we're off to Target, we're gonna get some stuff, and uh, walk back home, and, yep. So I'm at the place um, where the first time home buyer seminar is, and I'm about to go in. Um, I actually got here about 45 minutes early, so I've been sitting in the car listening uh, to music, and then, um, Looking at like Facebook and Instagram and stuff and Twitter. So I'm about to go in. I'm just wondering how daddy's doing with the babies. I left the camera with him. I wonder if he's actually going to record anything. So I don't know. But I'm excited to learn all the stuff. And uh, oh, oh, I wipe my teeth. So um, anyway, yeah. About to go in, learn about homeowner. Honing. And stuff, and then um, I'll fill you guys in after I leave. I'm hungry. So, okay. See you guys in a bit. There's an airplane. I got to take off mommy's camera. No, this is mommy's camera. So, this is exactly what I did not want to happen. Daddy. We have a sleeping Daddy? Lucy. Daddy. Say, wake up, Lucy. Wake up, Lucy. <laughs> oh, man. Now she's out cold. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to get the bread. Hi, Lucy. Hey, <laughs> Sneepy. And this is a reason I am a dad, and and Maggie's a mommy. I have the hiccup. Sorry. Green sock. Other sock. Lex's jeans. I could not find um, any jeans that belonged to her, so. Lexi. Lexi, your face is gonna get stuck to the TV, come here. Hurry, Lex, hurry! Your face was almost stuck to the TV. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. What'd you do? It's this your face. Um, no. Is that your face? No, it's for you, the Ladybird. Oh, throw it for Ladybird. Ladybird, cast! Go get it, Ladybird. <laughs> it's for you, this doggy bone. That's right. This is the doggy bone vest, honey. Hi, Lucy. Lucy, sit up. Lucy! Hi! Do you want goldfish? The walrus! Alexander? Yes. Hey, a blue can add the mommy! What happened? See, it's for you and the mommy. Oh, this is daddy's camera. No, that's mommy's camera. It's daddy's camera. <laughs> Not like Alex. Oh, interesting. So this is my progress on my mustache. Lexi, that was fun. That's what happens when Lex grabs the camera for me, I guess. I don't know if that happens with Maggie a lot, but... Um, anyways, mustache coming in. Maggie was actually telling me uh, today that... Um, she sent me a couple text messages. She was like, I... 
I really, really like that mustache on you. I was like, you're kidding me. I was like, all right, like all that whole like spiel that you went on about like it looking creepy and 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 saying that I was ridiculous for thinking it looks super dapper. And she's like, no, it looks really good on you. Um, and maybe I can get used to it. I was like, well, get used to it. I thought you said you like it. And she says, I do like it, but like I don't know if it's like a long term thing, but. Um, I think it might be something that we can we can work with. So she really likes this mustache, this particular. She was like talking about going for like the kind of like Magna PI mustache, which I understand is a classic. But I mean, this one right here is it's it's a it's a good looking mustache, and I mean I think it's going to turn out to be. So um, we'll see. Lexi, uh, Lucy, do you like Daddy's mustache? Yeah. Lucy likes it too. Lexi, can you come here? Lexi, come here. Come here. Lexi, where's Daddy's mustache? I didn't see your face. Have you seen my face? Daddy, your face is broken. Ladybird. Ladybird. Uh, yuck. Did Ladybird kiss you? No. So yeah. I uh, just got off the phone with my dad, and we were chatting it up, and he is an international man of mystery. So that was fun, and um, just having a just good father-son talk about life and home buying, and um, how I've realized that as I've become older, I know less. Like when I was a kid, I thought I knew everything, and um, and that was probably the standard until um, I don't know, like five, six years ago, and then maybe. Even more recently, I don't know. The older I've gotten, the more I realize I don't really know anything. Um, Lex, yes. do you know everything? Yes. See, he knows everything. Lucy, do you know everything? Yes. Ladybird, what do you know? Ladybird's no, she's a dumb dog. Yes. Bless you. So we're just hanging around the house right now. Um, I finally, Lex wanted to play Kindle, so I let him play Kindle, and Lucy grabbed the the phone and she's playing with that and I'm just sitting here no big deal watching Jake and the Neverland Pirates um just growing my mustache and keeping it real anyways um yeah not not much else going on just um having a a good day I had a like I said I had a good I've, I've got really good parents I've, I've got really good in-laws though too so I like I like I, I feel, I don't throw the term blessed around a lot, but I feel blessed. Um, you know, I've got, I've got a great family. I've got two great kids. I've got, um, you know, great in-laws and I've got a, you know, great, great parents. I've, I've got a great brother and, and sister-in-law on, on both sides of our family. It's just uh, life is, life is good. So, um, if you have family, let your family know that you love them because family is important. Um, and that's a, that's that's enough of me being sappy. I I love my family and I, you know. Um, Giddy that. Oh no! Watch, I'm gonna fix it. I fixed it. Yeah, here. Um, and and hopefully someday when I finally kind of know some stuff, my kids will turn to me and and talk to me and so. On. Um, in the meantime, I, you know, enough of that. Back to being a dorky guy. I'm going to sit around with my kids, and uh, I'm going to play some video games, and they're going to play some video games, and there's some chicken in the sink that's, like, rock solid. Um, so I'll, I'll try to, I don't know. You want to play games? I don't know if I throw it in the microwave, or I know I have to cook it, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I may just starve. No big deal. All right. Bye, everyone. I am back home. Oh, that was a lot of information to cram in such a short amount of time. And on top of that, I'm like a total like dodo bird and I'm like ADD. So I was like, Ooh, in the whole entire class because there was like numbers and I don't know, forms and 
you have to have this much, but you can go to this thing and apply for this thing, but you got to make sure you have this thing and earnest money, but you may not have to use it and all this stuff. I'm just like, oh, I just want to own a house. That's it. Nothing fancy. Three bedrooms. Doesn't even have to have two baths. As long as it has a bathtub and a dishwasher and a washer and dryer, I will be happy. I don't even care if it has wood floors. I just want a house that is our own. That's what I want. Yes, indeed. So, um, oh, we weren't planning on it, but because the class was so early, I couldn't make dinner. I mean, I, I could have made dinner. Um, I didn't even think about using my crock pot. Now I'm thinking about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm so brain dead. I can't even remember what I was talking about. So it was good. Um, we're going to set up a meeting ASAP with the um, with the loan lady and um, see where we stand because it's like our lease is up here at the end of March, and I think our apartment complex requires sixty days notice, and sometimes the actual process of buying a house can take 60 days. So I think it's one of those things where we have to start like sooner rather than later. And also we want to make sure that like our credit is back to where, you know, it needs to be because, you know, like a lot of people, <laughs> the entire decade of our twenties did a lot of damage. So <sighs> that's what I'm going to share with my kids. I learned it the hard way. So a lesson learned to teach my children in the future but yeah so we'll be going soon scheduled on Monday might have to bring the babies although since Uncle Frankie's gonna be living here maybe we can set it up and maybe if he doesn't have a job he can watch the kids I don't know I'm just thinking out loud I'm sorry this doesn't make any sense anyway I don't even know if I started to tell you so something cool happened um I had mentioned that uh, on yesterday's vlog that I had watched Sam Sherman's vlog on the Sherman show and it was called Mommy's Emotional or Mommy Gets Emotional or something like that, which she started crying because like, you know, it just, it's, I can't imagine, but I can, you know, I, I, I understand how awful it must be to have young children and, and want to share everything with your mom. Um, it's hard enough for me, and I'm 3,000 miles away from my mom. My mom's still alive. Her mom passed away. So I, all the stuff that happens, like, I just know how hard it is for me. So I can't even begin to imagine what it's like to be Sam. And so I had posted a message on her Facebook, and I had said, um, you know, I'm really sorry, you know, like, big hug, stuff like that. And uh, she actually reply, replied, and, you know, she said, thank you so much. And, like, she gave me a big, you know, she was, like, big hug and stuff. So I thought that was really nice. Um, and so, we love you, Sam. I think my little Lucy has a crush on your Mr. Phoenix. So, um, yeah, it was really sad. It's It was, like, weird because if you watch Sam's channel and you watch The Sherman Show, um, She's very, she's a very likable person. She's very bubbly and funny and outgoing. And so it was just kind of it, like, I was like, no, why are you crying? You know, because I'm used to seeing her being all like silly and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so that was, that was pretty cool. So, and she is actually the reason, and I'm going to message her back, um, but she is actually the reason I started a YouTube channel, um, both my, uh, the Makes It Go Lightly channel, and then um, the Garcia family, um, because I got really into theirs, and I was like, that looks like a lot of fun, and it looks like, especially with um, the Garcia family, David and I were talking about this last night, it's a fantastic way to, like, document this particular time in our life. I mean, there's no telling how long we'll be doing this. Um, you know, I might get tired of doing it next month or, you know, I could love it and end up doing it for like 10 years, you know, but it'll be nice because we will have these like videos to look back on. It's like, it's like a 
public way of showing our family videos. So, um, but yeah, she is the reason I started doing this. And, um, but, you know, will we ever achieve the same, you know, viewership that they have? Probably not, you know, but, you know, maybe we will. Who knows? And maybe someday, like, they'll, you know, they have that, that vlog, um, like, convention was it vlogger fair or whatever is here in Seattle and she went to last year. So if she comes again this year, maybe I'll actually get to meet her and then introduce myself to her because she's just such a lovely person. I, I like Sam. I think that if we live near each other, I feel like she's somebody that I would totally want to hang out with for sure. And I don't mean to sound single white female. <laughs> so anyway, I am too exhausted to edit this tonight, but I will edit it tomorrow and get it up ASAP. So it will be later posted later on than normal. So I'm making my apologies now. But I'm really excited to see what Mr. Garcia recorded when I was away. Because I was like, I'm leaving the camera here with you. I want you to record while I'm gone. Because I want him to be part of this more. So it's true. We're going to get him his very own camera someday. <laughs> so... So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. The babies are sleeping. And they're so cute. They're so sweet when they're asleep. I know when they're awake, but... And more of the same old, same old tomorrow. Oh! Ha! <gasps> we get paid tomorrow, so I have to go... I gotta go grocery shopping. We are out of food. We have, like, bottled water and, like, a tortilla. <laughs> so. All right. I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys had a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow. As always, sweet dreams.